The ProLine Cliffhanger was developed specifically for Class 2 and Class 3 scale competition trucks with 12.3 inch wheelbase. Welcome to Vixen Hobbies. My LCG belly dragger, the G-Speed Element Enduro, has been running J-Concepts creep body for over a year and is desperately in need of a new body. While I was trying to figure out which body to replace with, there were few options that stood out over others. First was to stick with the J-Concept creep body. It's a proven body and I know it works. It's not very scale looking, but it is simple, lightweight, and just great performing body. Second option is the ever popular Power Wagon body, but so many others have it. And for the third option, there is a new entry, the ProLine's Cliffhanger body. The ProLine Cliffhanger was developed specifically for Class 2 and Class 3 scale competition trucks with 12.3 inch wheelbase. What stood out is that it features a pinched front end and a dovetail rear end for maximum tire clearance and it has a molded drop down bed to make room for you to add your favorite scale accessory if you so desire. Although it's quickly becoming the next power wagon fad, I still wanted to give it a try. In doing so, I wanted to do a quick comparison of J Concepts Crip and the ProLine Cliffhanger as it should provide a great reference point for those of you looking for the next body for your crawler. Now let's take a closer look at the ProLine Cliffhanger body. I am getting it ready for paint, so it's been trimmed a bit more than normal, especially on the front and the rear bed to let us sit as low as possible. You can clearly see the pinched front end and a dovetail rear end, which should provide a maximum tire clearance. Here's the cliffhanger next to my current favorite body, the J Concepts Creep. At a first glance, the cliffhanger looks pretty wide at the middle. So let's take a close look at the dimensions. The front at the narrowest point measures 4.25 inches for creep and 5.38 inches for the cliffhanger. The width at the widest part of the body measures 6.25 inches for a creep. and roughly 7.25 inches for cliffhanger, a whopping one inches wider. But the width of the rooftop measures 5.5 inches for crib, while cliffhanger is just shy of 5.5, 5.38 inches. This means that the cliffhanger body has a bit more vertical curvature than the creep body. The rear at the midpoint measures 5.38 inches for creep and 5.75 inches for cliffhanger. But either one should provide great tire clearance. The overall length of creep is 17 inches and 16.75 inches for cliffhanger. With the current length, both will provide a great departure angle. And finally, the overall weight is 78 grams for creep and 96 grams for the cliffhanger. The cliffhanger body isn't painted yet, so after the paint job, it is definitely going to weigh a bit more than the creep body. Overall, specs wise, the J Concept creep body seems to be a slightly better choice than the cliffhanger body, but I do like the more modern look of the cliffhanger. The pinched front end and the dovetail rear end should still provide a great tire clearance. And although heavier, the Lexan body seems to have more firmness, hopefully translating into longer durability. All in all, I don't think you will go wrong with the either one. And I am dying to get the new body painted up and rock it on my G-Speed Element Enduro. Hope you found the information helpful and useful. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. And make sure to hit the notification bell so that you are alerted when new videos are being uploaded. Thanks for watching Big Sun Hobbies.